In today's video, we're going to be talking about thermal physics, which is part of module five, the Newtonian world and astrophysics. Now, just before I go into the main topic of this video, which is the difference between heat and temperature, I just want to say why, why is thermal physics incredibly important? Now, number one, it looks at some very, very useful concepts. So the whole study of thermodynamics was instrumental to the creation of uh, internal combustion engines, which also uh, helped to spur the industrial revolution. So thermodynamics and thermal physics in general are invaluable to technological progress. Additionally, though, we're going to be looking at some really deep fundamental physics. I mean, questions such as what exactly is temperature puzzled scientists for hundreds of years. We're going to be able to answer those. Additionally, we're going to be starting to look at some concepts which are key to star formation. I've got a little picture over here of a collapsing cloud of mass and as it collapses the temperature seems to rise. Now there's a certain magical temperature at which nuclear fusion reactions start to occur. Now our understanding of thermal physics of how this energy is gained actually explains how stars are created and uh, if we know how stars are created then we really know where the, this, all of the energy that we receive on earth actually come from. Okay well let's start off with a couple of definitions over here. I'm going to do this slightly in reverse. So temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in a substance. For example, uh, I've got a little really good drawing over here with some object A, which is uh, some, some fire or something which is on fire. And uh, if something has high temperature, that means that it has some very high average kinetic energy of all the individual molecules. So they're moving up and down into the side in a uh, random motion really, really rapidly. If something has a low temperature, the molecules are not moving so rapidly. So a temperature is just a measure of the average kinetic energy. Later on in the um, in this series, we're going to be looking at an equation which links temperature in Kelvin, we'll be talking about Kelvin as well as a unit of measurement, directly to an equation. Okay, uh, heat though describes the transfer of thermal energy from regions of high temperature to regions of lower temperature. For example, imagine that uh, you have something like a campfire uh, over here, let's say uh, object A, some, uh, um, um, some fire, and then there's an object B at a relatively low temperature, relatively close to it. Well, as uh, time goes by, depending on uh, how um, um, depending on what sort of an insulator there is in between, let's say that it's that that it's uh, there is air. So air doesn't have a particularly high density of molecules, but even so, um, I'm just going to try and make a little bit of a very um, of a very sort of simplified model over here. And this is obviously not drawn up to scale, but imagine that there's some part, some air particles flying around. I know that they're not big, etc. But uh, this is just to illustrate that. Uh, over time, those air particles, as they're moving, they will eventually gain some energy from the fire. Uh, this is simply due to molecular collisions. And as they gain energy and they're carrying on in uh, their random motion, that kinetic energy, that higher temperature of object A, will eventually mean a rise in the temperature of object B. And this is because those molecules will eventually start colliding with the outer walls of object B and will cause a, uh, a change in temperature. And this is in fact what heat transfer actually is. Once again, guys, so heat describes the transfer of thermal energy from regions of 
higher temperature to regions of lower temperature and temperature is just a measure of the average kinetic energy of those particles so if one of those particles let's say has a kinetic energy a half mv squared if you increase the speed of those particles by putting more energy into the system the energy will also increase excellent stuff guys hopefully you've enjoyed this